Full Stack Academy is a coding bootcamp that teaches students the nerd stack. And just like any other bootcamp, it throws a lot of information at the students from the very beginning. Hello, hello. My name is Benaze. I'm a Full Stack Academy bootcamp graduate, currently working as a software engineer in the Chicagoland area for a Fortune 50 company. On this channel, I mentor bootcamp students and graduates and help others break into tech. In this video, I'm going to be sharing five things to help you navigate Full Stack Academy's immersive program if you're planning to attend it. So let's get right into it. The first thing I would say is if there's anything you complete during the junior phase, make sure you do and submit the weekly checkpoints. The weekly checkpoints are great because it's pretty much a summary of what you've done each week. And if you can complete those, your student fellow will grade them and leave feedback. And at the end of the six weeks, when you're trying to get into senior phase, you have to pass a final checkpoint. And the final checkpoint is basically an accumulation of the six uh, weekly checkpoints. So if you can do well enough on the weekly checkpoints, you'll be in good shape for the final checkpoint, which is kind of like this main test or the final exam before you move on to senior phase. If you're not doing well, then you at least have feedback to you know improve on throughout the six weeks. So you know where your deficiencies are and you know what you're great at. So make sure you do the weekly checkpoints. Don't worry about finishing up any labs from each day um, after hours after you know the program is done for that day. Focus on the weekly checkpoints, then you can go back to your student fellows and ask up any questions that you might have. Point number two, speaking of student fellows, these are the people that you should definitely be taking advantage of. These are people that just finished the program, the immersive program, and they're there for your help. They are basically like your TAs. They'll grade you in your homework assignments. They'll guide you through any um, issues that you might have in terms of learning the code or the technology. Um, they have weekly powwows that I highly recommend you attend with other students. So a group of students will be assigned to one student fellow and they're there as mentors. Definitely tap into them. You can vent to them anything that you're frustrated about. They understand what you're going through. They understand that learning to code is hard and they can be a great resource. They sometimes explain it better to you than the instructor because since there are still beginners in their own sense, um, sometimes beginner teachers can explain to beginners um, better than expert people that have been so far removed from the beginner experience. So again, like I said, they're great resources that you should tap into. Point number three, don't always take notes during lectures. This may be a little bit counterintuitive, but um, from my experience, throughout junior phase when you have lectures, they're a combination of PowerPoint presentations and then demos. And it took me a while to realize that you shouldn't take notes during demos. It's okay to take uh, notes during PowerPoint presentations, but when you're going through the demo, uh, you should probably just pay attention and see what the instructor is doing because it will actually divert your attention and you'll probably miss a few details or a few nuances during the demos if you're taking notes. So this uh, might be obvious for some people, might not be, but it's a little counterintuitive not to take notes during lectures. There's a good time to take notes and there's a good time to not take notes. And during demos, during junior phases, lectures is a good time not to take notes. So yeah, keep that in mind. throughout uh, junior phase and senior phase, there will be opportunities for you to do more practice. There's something called uh, study Saturdays and reactos. Make sure you attend those, um, especially throughout junior phase, you have study Saturdays that allow you to get in more practice for the material you've learned in that week. This is something that's more optional. You don't have to do it on Saturdays. Usually Saturdays, Sundays are your days off and you know, you're know you not really expected to do much uh, except for you know maybe do some self-study. But if you need more practice for your material, there's definitely Saturday, study Saturdays. And throughout senior phase, you have something called reactos in the morning that pretty much help you get up to speed about data structures and uh, time complexity and space complexity. And those are what your interviews will be like. So get some practice for Reactos. And I think through junior phase two, you have something called uh, Reactor Thursdays or Wednesdays. They're pretty much extra practice after hours during uh, junior phase. So make sure you get those in if you need it. 
Point number five, when it comes to senior phase, you'll be working on teams of three to four engineers and two to three projects. Uh, the projects you'll be working on is the Grace Chopper project, the Stackathon project, and the Capstone project. And these next six weeks will go by really fast. What I want you to do is take notes on the Capstone project and the Grace Chopper project. And you're gonna be taking notes on the responsibilities you had as an individual on those teams, what kind of contributions you made to the project, and what impact it had on the overall application, and what impact it had on the team. Take notes on this because these notes will eventually become bullet points for each of these projects on your resume. And if you're curious on how to do that, make sure you subscribe so you get a notification when I come out with that video. And in that video, I'll go through exactly how I did it with my project. And this was my first tech resume. And if you've never done a tech resume before, this will be you know, beneficial for you. But when it comes to the Stackathon project, this is your opportunity to show your employers what you're really passionate about and what you really like about tech. The Stackathon project, you could do whatever you want, whatever technology you, do, you want. So this is an opportunity to show on your resume what you're really passionate about and why you like to code and why you like tech. So make sure you take notes on what you're doing and why you're doing that for your Stackathon. And these, all these points will come back and you'll make a resume out of it. And it'll just be easier for you to put it on paper when you have some notes on it but yeah those are the, my five tips in case you missed it make sure you do your weekly checkpoints make sure you have a good relationship with your student fellows don't take notes during demos during junior phase during the lectures i uh, get some practice on study saturdays and lastly take some good notes about your contributions uh, responsibilities and impact throughout senior phase for those team projects. If you found these tips helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.